To find out who's the favourite warder in cell block H needs no identity card. She shines out bright as a button. It's, good. it's a good programme. Who's your favourite then, Emma? Mag. What? Mag? Yeah. She's lovely, isn't she? Meg Jackson. Meg Jackson. She's nice. Everybody's favourite. Meg. Why? Because she thinks she's dead nice and Joan, I don't like her. Uh, Meg. Why? She's so damn true. She's great. Elspeth Valentine played Meg Jackson, Stroke Morris, yes. in prison cell block H. You must be one of the nicest people in <laughs> In cell block, I, I, I am, but um, I don't think I am in real life, actually. Well, didn't you ever, as an, act <laughs> didn't you ever uh, as an actress, scream to play a criminal, someone who was nasty and could get away with something? Being there like them? Yeah. Well, actually, I, you obviously haven't seen it yet, but one day, I don't know what year it was that I was doing Prisoner. I had this scene where I had to go to court and uh, give uh, a character reference to somebody else. And the judge asked me certain questions about one of these prisoners. And I perjured myself. And he said, for that, you will go inside. So there is a couple of weeks of Prisoner where I'm actually inside, behind bars myself, in the prison uniform. Uh, and went behind bars. Now, it was all great fun, and it was very interesting to do it from their point of view. However, I think I've had really a very exciting life as Meg. I mean, you could, I mean, she's awfully nice, but on the other hand, she's been through some terrible times. I mean, uh, she, as you know, she lost her first husband here, uh, unfortunately, a pair of scissors yeah, punctured him. Yeah. Uh, and um, she has been uh, kidnapped. She has been, I've been in a bomb blast. I survived beautifully. I, I sailed up and down the air and came and landed uh, very nearly all together. And um, I've been uh, held at gunpoint. I've been shot at. Get down! Get down! Where do you find the basis of your fans are? Are they people from the establishment or from the other side of the track? We actually get them from both sides of the tracks. Uh, quite a few uh, people in the services do write to me. And I've had the odd letter, I think, uh, way back when we first started from uh, people who were in prison service. Um, I've also had several letters from people who are on the inside. Um, but generally, the mail seems to come from just people who are in their living rooms and just sit and watch it and seem to love it, you know. And obviously, like my, the people that write to me, like my particular character. You stayed with the show for its entire run, didn't you? Yes, I did. How long uh, was that? Eight years uh, in entirety, some 900 hours of television. Um, well, it was a marvellous period of my life, really. Um, I had uh, a young family and it meant that uh, I was working long hours, but only in the day and not at night. And I wasn't moving around the country. I didn't have to tour. I didn't have to go into other theatre companies. And uh, it, it, it really was a, came at the best time of my life with a young family and it worked superbly. So that I was, I sort of gave, the children had that stability of having their mum at home, you know. What differences have you found from taking a television show and putting it on the stage? The character, is exactly the same but the marvelous thing about it has been is that we've had the luxury of working on an entirely new script it's, it's exactly written by reg watson uh who wrote and devised the first uh, prisoner in its entirety but um he has written a stage play and i was just as nervous as everybody else on the first day i mean because it's a completely different medium and techniques are different and so that was good that was really put me on my metal and i love doing it and we've also had the luxury of a, a working period of two and a half weeks rehearsal whereas we do two hours of television a week and it's almost like rehearse record and everything's done at a furious pace uh over five days and this time, we've had that wonderful luxury to be able to sit back and discuss the characters, discuss the whys and the wherefores and, uh, and the meaning of the whole piece. So that has been tremendous luxury and I've loved it.